Alright, this is second grade, module 5, lesson 16. We're going to continue subtracting, and we're going to be really using that standard algorithm, but now we're going to be subtracting from multiples of 100 and from numbers with zeros in the tens place. So the problems are still you, you subtraction, and they're still using the standard algorithm, but now they're a little bit more complicated because we're throwing in zeros that are always kind of problematic. So here it says to solve vertically or using the mental math method, some sort of mental math method, and draw the, the place value chart. Use the, the number disks in the place value chart. So I think I'll start using the vertical method on this. So we've got 509 minus 371. And notice I've lined up all my numbers nice and neat. So my ones, I have nine ones, take away one, one. That's pretty straightforward. That's eight ones. Now here it says I have no tens at all, and I'm supposed to take away seven. So I'm going to go to the hundreds. And I'm going to unbundle one of the hundreds, so that gives me four hundreds, or leaves me with four hundreds, and that's going to give me ten tens. So now we have ten tens, take away uh, seven tens, and that gives us three tens. And then lastly, four hundreds, take away three hundreds, is one hundred. So our answer is one hundred thirty-eight. And let's use the place value chart to verify. And so we're going to begin by modeling 509. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hundreds, and then 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Notice there's nothing in the tens place. That's because the number is 509. That zero means there's nothing in the tens place. So now it says take away. Let's see, take away a 1. Well, that's easy. Boom. I just took it away. And that leaves us with 8 in our 1's place. Now we have no 10's, but the directions say we're supposed to subtract 7 10's. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to unbundle one of these 100's, and when we unbundle it, we're going to get 10 tens. There's our 10 tens. And now we can cross off 7 tens. Now we can subtract 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, leaving us with 3 tens. It's a little hard to see, so they're right here. Boom. There's our 3 tens. And then over here, this guy's gone because he was unbundled. And so we're left with four hundreds. And it says to, over here, take away three hundreds. So when we take away three, one, two, three, that leaves us with just one hundred left over. And so using two different methods, our answer is 138. So let's do this one, and oh, let's do um, oh, let's do the vertical method because we should practice that a little bit, huh? So we're going to do nine hundred take away five hundred seventy-two. All right, now right here it says we have no ones, and we're supposed to take away two ones, but we have no tens either. So we're going to have to go all the way over to this hundreds column, and when we unbundle this, you know what? Let's, I got an idea. Let's do the place value chart first. I think that will make, it, make a lot of sense. So let's start with a place value chart, and let's start by modeling 900. There's my 900. And it says we're supposed to take away... 572. So we're going to start by taking away 2. Well, we have no 1's to take away 2. So we're going to go all the way to the 100's, and we're going to bundle, or unbundle, I mean, 
one of these hundreds. We're going to unbundle him. That gives us ten tens. But then we're going to unbundle one of those tens, and that's going to give us ten ones. All right, and that's the important thing right here. So we unbundled a hundred to get ten tens right here, and then we unbundled one of those tens to get ten ones. So if we look over here at the vertical method, what did we end up with over here? Well, we ended up unbundling one of the hundreds, leaving us with eight. That's the eight over here. And that gave us ten tens. But then we unbundled one of those tens, leaving us with nine tens. And you'll see it over here. There's only nine tens right here. Because we unbundled one of those tens, and that gave us ten ones. So you'll notice our vertical method. We have eight hundreds, nine tens, and ten ones. And we can look over here. Eight hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight hundred. And then how many tens? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. That's what this nine means. And then we have ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there you go. And so now, going back to this number disks method, it says now we can take away two. Well, that's now an easy thing to do. Take off two. And that leaves us with 8. And then we have 9 tens, and it says to take away 7 tens. So that's pretty straightforward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, leaving us with 2 tens left over. And then lastly, it says to take away 5 hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 leaving us with three hundreds. So using the number disks, we get the answer of 328. Let's go back over here and finish this. So you have ten ones, take away two ones. So that gives us eight ones. And then we have nine tens, take away seven tens, leaves us with two tens. And lastly, we have 800s, take away 500s, that gives us 300. So our answer is 328. Now I've got to show you a really cool trick on this one. Because our students know how to decompose. They know how to create number bonds. So let's use that fact, 900 minus 572. So 900 minus 572. Now check this out. If we take 900 and we decompose it to 1 plus 899, see that's the same thing as 900. So now let's subtract this, 899 minus 572. So when we do that, 9 minus 2 is 7. seven uh, 9 minus 7 is 2. And 8 minus 5, 800s minus 500s, is 3. So the answer is 327. But we have this 1 out here that was added to the 899, right? So we subtracted these guys, and we get 327. So now we add in this one that was right here and so our answer is 328 and we get that answer same answer as up here only we didn't really have to do any unbundling or regrouping because we used decomposition we took 900 and broke it up into 1 plus 899 899 then when we subtracted we got 327 so then we add in the one that we kind of temporarily ignored for a second. So our answer is 328. Uh, teachers, parents, 
that's just kind of a cool thing to share if you want to share it. It's like a backup plan if you want, um, if your students are starting to freak out about unbundling. And our last problem for this video, Andy says that 599 minus 456 is the same as 600 minus 457. Well, let's start by writing tape diagrams for 600 minus 457. So here's our 600 and here's our 457 and this gap right here is the answer to the 600 minus 457. All right, that's the gap right here. Now here's the cool thing. What Andy is saying is, well, what if I just chopped off one from here and one from here? I chopped off one and I chopped off one. Well, that would make this 599, and it would make this 456, and the gap itself wouldn't change. We're leaving this part alone. We're just chopping off one from each tape diagram down here. So the gap itself stays the same. And that means 599 minus 456 will give us the exact same answer as 600 minus 457 because the gap on these two problems is the same. It doesn't change. So we can see that the answer is 143 in both cases. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 16, where we're using that standard algorithm to subtract some slightly more difficult problems that have zeros in them.